Hi guys, how are we? I hope you're well. Kongsa Kijo here. This is Inspire YG. Uh, welcome. This is, if, if this is your first time um, popping onto this video or you know seeing one of my videos, um, please don't feel shy to subscribe. Um, hit the share. Um, hit the like button. You know for more videos. Um, if this one excites you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you everybody who has been part of this journey it has been an incredible journey um and uh you know of me sharing my journey as an international student so i moved to australia from uh, kenya east africa um came here for studies and i'm no longer a student but i know a thing or two about being an international student and how that journey looks like so that's a bit of um me and this page in a nutshell that's what i share um when i pop in here once in a while i, I try once a week i've been mia for a while <laughs> i have to be honest about that um yeah it's okay to take hiatus uh once in a while and it's okay to take a break uh well deserved break to be honest and um so i thought i'd do this video as a way of telling you happy new year and just saying thank you so much for your support last year for everybody who um came in my dms um Konsakito, uh, not inspire yg on instagram and inspire yg on facebook that's where i have more intimate conversations or one-on-one -on -one kind of conversations however i'm always um on my comments down below if someone um have have any question about any video that i do or anything that is in the international student uh sphere or any or, or the other any of the other topics that i sort of touch on i always encourage um people to go on the comment section send a question there and if it's even a video that you want me to you know if you ask a question that is probably i feel like it requires a lengthy uh, sort of response i can even do a video on that and give you sort of my perspective on that particular uh um, topic so today this video is just not going to be it's, it's not going to be intense <laughs> because i can go intense uh, i mean i can go deep but it will be a video of me doing i've done a bit of reflection and i was just trying to see what did i learn uh from 2022 and so not only am i going to talk about the lessons i learned but also some of the highlights for me so some of the highlights that made me feel like wow 2022 was something i'm not going to forget that year so what are those so i'm going to dive into it and so um, tune in um i'm going to be with you in a short while a bit of a um an intro there um so some of the highlights one of the highlights for 2022 is i'm not gonna go deep into it but i felt a lot of love in 2022 um in so from so many angles right <laughs> and um i feel like it's it's good for us to acknowledge and first and foremost let me give a disclaimer it's raining outside <laughs> so you're gonna hear a lot of noise and i'm next to the next to the main a main road um yeah so i i love was gracious to me in 2020 2022 and it was coming from all directions it's it's in my professional life in my personal life in in um encounters with strangers encounters with loved ones from um from from back when i was a student and it has it was to me an year where i felt the most loved i know it sounds weird because i feel that every year but last year was on another level <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so i thought that was a highlight for me my second highlight was in august i got covid and 
it was quite interesting because I had managed to steer away from COVID for two good years, literally since it started in New South Wales, I had managed to stay away from it, or at least I had managed to run away from it, <laughs> for lack of a better word. Um, and being in the industry that I was working in, working at at the time, that was such a miracle that I stayed that long without actually getting it. Not that I was looking forward to, but um, it just came at a point where I wasn't expecting to get it. But I survived, and that is uh, that was a highlight because I was very sick, uh, not for an extensive period of time, a short period of time, but but it was terrible. So just thanking God for you know for the healing and and getting back on track and. Because I also know there are so many people that have been affected by long COVID and luckily or, you know, by God's grace, I wasn't affected by long COVID. So to get it and to feel better, it's obviously a blessing. The same, same month last year in April, I also got permanent residency in Australia and being an international student, for those of you who have been, or for those of you aspiring to be, you know, it's, it's, it feels it feels great to be acknowledged by a country that you you have taken as a home as a second home and um, yeah just that acknowledgement of hey we see you and hey we want we, we acknowledge um, your presence here we acknowledge your input here um, from whatever merit you you get your permanent residence from it's, it's just that thing that makes you feel wow this really feels like home and it has felt like home and um, just grateful to obviously to the Australian government. I mean, for anybody who has even ever thought of making that a possibility that um, people can just come and make it and, and, and grow themselves and learn about who they are in a different land, coming from a different land. Um, it's just something special. So that was another highlight for me. And um, another highlight was um, last year i started doing uh, road trips now <laughs> i don't know if i mentioned this before but i have really terrible vertigo so for those who don't know what vertigo is i'm gonna write a bit of a definition of what that in, uh, condition is but it's basically motion sickness so for extensive period of time if i'm on the road i start feeling sick or i get really bad migraines and i have to sleep after maybe two to three hours of being on the road now it, it seems to only happen when i'm on the road it doesn't happen when i'm on flights or on cruises or any other mode of transportation it's just on the road by car or vehicle or buses uh, it doesn't even happen to me when i'm on a train so i have stretched myself and um for some reason i was like i didn't think i could stretch my body to that point where I figured out that I could cope and it was mainly doing um, so I traveled from Sydney to Gold Coast and that's about eight to nine hours on the road and but you know we made a couple of stops and so every three hours we made a stop every three hours every two hours we made a stop I realize it's manageable that way so if you have vertigo I wouldn't I don't know whether this applies to everybody or this sort of a case by case situation that's something to give a go it worked for me so um, the other highlight for me was I was excited excited to start a new role and to you know lead the industry that I've been in um, for nine years and get into another industry that I was looking forward to and I was always dreaming of being in the health industry and mainly this particular hospital and to get a job there I was I ha it has been amazing I now enjoyed every sorry every step of it um, it's one of those it's I, I don't I don't know what to say I I love what I do I love my managers and the people I work with just the whole camaraderie and the environment, the job that I do, the impact that I know it will bring to the community. It's 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 all that and more. So that that has been another highlight and obviously a blessing as well. Excited to travel. I did a bit of traveling last year and when I say last year it feels like just the other day. <laughs> So around November, I did visit the UAE. I have I have a special love for Dubai. Um, it's it's just an amazing, amazing country where 
you cannot believe it's in the middle it's supposed to be a desert but when you get there there's you totally forget it's a desert because it, there's nothing deserty <laughs> about dubai so you know it is i i've got so many memories about about that place I've, this this was my second time visiting dubai and i love it i love 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 it and i'll share a bit of pictures of how it was we, i visited a place called miracle gardens which is just magnificent i picture that's how heaven looks like <laughs> it's just so beautiful so i will share a bit of pictures here on the on the miracle garden um we did go to um around dubai marina beach and we had a cruise we took a cruise there for dinner and um just explored the city yeah the last time i went there i went for the desert safari and i rode a camel <laughs> um and so i felt like okay this time i need to do something different so dubai if you haven't been is obviously i could recommend it a million million times it's a beautiful country um then i went to kenya i wasn't there for such a long time i was there for a short period but i really was missing my family i hadn't been back since COVID hit in 2019 so i it was about time and uh i had fun i missed being in rural kenya so i did not even step in nairobi <laughs> I did not go to Nairobi and um but I did visit Mount Kenya region. I didn't go to Nanyuki. I didn't I did go to Nyahururu or uh, uh what do you call Nyahururu? I went to um did I go to Nyeri? No. <laughs> anyway, I went to Mount Kenya region and and um yeah in, in Nyahururu area. I just wanted to be around nature and as ma and meet as many family members in the outskirts of the uh, of Nairobi as possible and that's what I did I was blessed to actually meet all my maternal grand, uh, maternal uncles by chance this was not planned and just beautiful 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 experience it's always said that in my culture there's a belief that you get more blessings from your maternal uncles and so if you ever get a chance to get a blessing from your maternal uncle <laughs> there's something there and so I feel like this trip uh just um did that for me it was special and got to visit fairmont animal orphanage so fairmont hotel they are there they have they have an orphanage they have a hotel in nairobi they also have one in nanyuki so the one in nanyuki do is right next to an animal orphanage which is magnificent has a magnificent story if you ever in fairmont in nanyuki i'll put some pictures here of some of the animals i visited i took a selfie with one of them this is my friend here <laughs> an airland so for those who don't know what an airland is is actually one of the largest it, it gets to be one of the largest ant antelopes in africa um yeah beautiful guy i gave him some milk and he didn't want to run away from me so <laughs> just enjoyed him um, we went to Alpajeta Conservancy. It's also another place where you can just do your own drive and get to see the uh, the wildlife. It's out there. That is their home. That's where they live. I think it's about ninety thousand acre farm um, with just all types of wildlife. And we were blessed to meet um, this beautiful white rhino here. His name is Baraka. Unfortunately, he's blind. He's one of the very few white uh, rhinos. Who are extinct in kenya well in the world actually and uh so he, he's he's so cute i mean he 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 took his time to think about if he's gonna come and say hi to us but <laughs> eventually he did so um our projector conservancy is, is a is a nice place you could visit if you're in those sites of kenya then um obviously attended the fireworks so this is a last week um is it yeah i haven't gone to the uh sydney fireworks since maybe the last time i was there was 2015 but it was magnificent i mean i i went there late so i didn't get to see or be closer to any of the you know um like the harbour bridge and the opera house however where i was i was very close to see you know a glimpse of um the bridge and so it always feels nice to feel that you know vibe and the spirit of people in the city and just being happy to start a new year so i enjoyed that i enjoyed doing that after a while and uh yeah so 
um, this video was gonna be it wasn't gonna be too long i just wanted to do this those were those were some of my highlights for 2022 i've learned so much um from so many of you you know from you sharing your journey with me the people who did natty exam sharing um your experiences with me and even if you did natty and you didn't pass don't lose hope like try again try again if you need those five points for whatever visa you're applying just try again uh don't lose hope i'm not one of those people who believe in giving up you fall you dust yourself you get up and try again so not to lose hope go back to the video have a look at it again you know do a bit of you know listen to a bit of swahili news on on online swahili people speaking you you will grasp some of those things and also look up the materials that are uh, ccl um on their CC, ccl website and try the exam again so like I said, feel free to always um, reach out to me on InspireYG on Instagram, InspireYG on Facebook. You can DM me directly and I'll get back to you. Um, so more video coming up. I'll be talking about an, a, vid, um, a visa that is called 407. So some of these, I'll, I'll talk about some of the videos that I want to do in the near future because I know they might be helpful for some of you who are probably transitioning from 485 visa which cannot be extended I believe I'm not sure if these things have changed but I know like for, for most of most of them they're not the 485 cannot be extended so there's a visa called 407 I'll do a video and talk about it I'll also do a video and talk about how different ways that people acquire permanent residency and in the future, I'll do a video on um, how to acquire citizenship and what are some of the things you can do. And I'm talking about doing this. You don't even need an agent. You can really, literally do it yourself. I'll also do a video on um, there is a program that has been introduced by the Ministry of Education together with, I don't remember who are the other guys, but I know it's the Ministry of Education and they're trying to... Um, you know they have a program where they they are opening up doors for overseas teachers and so if you're a teacher or you know someone who is a teacher uh tell them to look out for the next couple of uh, next couple of videos that i'm doing there is a program i'm going to talk about that might be actually beneficial to teachers you don't have to be australian you can be an interstate well you can either be an, a new south wales and uh, no you can either be an australian teacher so interstate you can be overseas or international teacher it all applies to you so i will do a video and talk about that program i learned about it not a long time ago and i know it can be beneficial to you or someone else that you know who is a teacher so thank you so much once more for being that great friend <laughs> calling you my friend from the screen and uh being that support you know um I don't take it lightly I will never do these videos if I don't get any feedback to know if they're helping someone out there um, or if I if I if I have a feeling that I'm not uh, you know I'm not adding value um, to people um, out there so thank you so much and I hope that you enjoy your beginning of the year and I hope this is gonna be an amazing one for you and all your dreams will come true write them down have your vision board you know it, just put it there let that be the first thing you see when you get up in the morning because if you can think about it if you can manifest it you can think about it if you can think about it you can see it if you can see it you can touch it if you can touch it you can have it so i do i'm a strong believer of power manifestation and so you know until the next one be blessed bye